Good morning, Foxtrot Breedables. It is January 18th, 2024. This is your Foxtrot update. Where have I been? Is a great question. There's been a lot of people asking. December and January have been some of the hardest times um, in my life right now. Uh, back at late November into early December, my dad had an entire kidney removed and they discovered a carcinoma, which is cancer. Um, but they took the whole kidney and they didn't think it would spread. During a scan, they found a spot in my dad's lung. So they removed his entire right side kidney. Now they're going to take the upper third of his left lung to take that spot out. Um, I'm not familiar with this procedure. I'm not sure how to answer any questions about it. They did a PET scan on my dad's brain, and luckily they didn't see anything. A lot of stuff that goes to your lung, especially when it's like mesothelioma, will go up to your brain. So I'm, I'm really thankful that it didn't go to his brain. Um, but life has been really, really bogged down with that. And my mother having cataract surgery this much, which isn't, which isn't as serious, by the way. Uh, she went and had one surgery yesterday, and I will take her next Tuesday, so I won't be around on Tuesday. I'm taking my mama for her other eye, um, and then she'll be done, and she should be good to go on the 30th when my dad has this lung removal, partial lung removal. Um, other than that, I want to apologize for not having discovery for green garden breeders in January. To make up for that, you're going to get two discoveries in February. So we are going to have a compost bin update coming up. That compost bin update will have the discoveries for February times two, March, April, May, and June. So I'm putting in six plants, February, March, April, May, June. And so that'll keep us good till June. Hopefully we don't have a compost bin update, but if we have another release, you know, when we update the compost bin, that's when we're adding new flowers. So just be aware um, that that compost bin is coming, that update is coming before the 31st, which is the last day of the month, and to prepare you for discovery on February 1. I'm excited. I'm excited. There's a lot of beautiful new flowers. Raven knocked it out of the park, went absolutely bonkers. She's got the most beautiful flowers in all of creation, and I'm pretty firm on that. All right, next up, the equine, American Pony, is coming. Soon, <laughs> very soon. I think we've got all the bugs and, and bells and whistles kicked out of it ahead of time, like really ahead of time. Um, and I think we're going to get ready to release that pretty, pretty soon. You'll notice the equine area has been shifted a little bit. Starter kit, thoroughbred. Starter kit, American Pony. And there's two more starter kit locations for the draft horse and the fjord horse. And then like two, like one more space. So we've moved potions and mating baskets around by afterlife points. Home objects are going to stay on the other side by the starter kits. That area will be expanding as we add more horse breeds. It's going to get bigger. Um, with, the equi uh, with the American Pony equine release, we will release four Ellie's. These Ellie's are going to be Four Seasons horses. So summer, spring, autumn, and winter. They are gorgeous looking. I can't wait to show them to you. It's so great. I just can't wait. Um, they're so pretty. It's so pretty. And a couple of questions were, can I get the blanket from that onto my thoroughbred? Um, these are questions from my CSRs. And, and yes, you can. If you breed your American pony to a thoroughbred, those traits can pass across. But that blanket, that limited edition blanket, will start on that, that American Pony LE, it won't appear on the thoroughbred. And if you find a thoroughbred with it, you'll know, oh, there's, there's got to be an American Pony in the background. So that's, that's kind of how we're going to do that. So I'm excited for that coming. I'm excited to release the American Pony and the Four Seasons LEs coming up soon. So, uh, and then after that, um, we're going to hopefully have some Turtle Tot updates. I'm kind of looking at... How we expand turtle tots. I'm kind of in that a little bit. I want to apologize again for being gone as long as I was. The medical stuff in the household's been been pretty serious. End of November, beginning of December, I had COVID. My daughter has the worst ear infection. <coughs> and I'm I'm starting to get sick again, but I'm trying to vitamin C myself into wellness. So 
Remember, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them at the bottom of this YouTube video. If not, you can click your home objects, your home objects or your pets, hit that support button and you can submit feedback as a ticket. You'll just say, this is feedback. You know, we'll, we'll get back to you if we have more questions. Um, and if there's anything else you need, please, please, please rely on my staff. Silence Mist Walker is our operations manager. He oper he's the manager of everything operating on the ground. He manages both Sims. He's the estate manager. If you have something that needs returned, he absolutely can help you. Your marketplace. This is where you're selling your pets on our Sims, our main Sim market or our Foxtrot 2 market. You're going to get Red, Mist Walker, Silence's partner. Red is going to take care of everything you need when it comes to your rental, rules, keeping in line, anything like that. Do not directly come to me for the market or anything like that. I trust Silence and Red to handle that. Ooh. Um, we do have a ticketing system that is a help desk system. So once you submit a ticket, we, mostly I, look at that ticket and assign it to someone. So if someone reaches out to you and you're like, I don't want to work with you, I want to work with Seb, you can make that request, but that's again at my leisure. I don't have a lot of time because I'm busy working on the systems as itself. Foxtrot has gotten big enough that I can't do it all <laughs> and make everything happen all at the same time. And I think we learned that this fall when my real life stuff came crashing down and I had to really rely and lean on my staff members. So please, if you need assistance, my staff members are there. You can submit feedback through a support ticket. Support tickets. You can submit one from your home objects, from your pets. And even on our main sim, we have blue support ticket terminals. Rentals. We have rentals available on Foxtrot 2. There's a paddock over there that's available, shops, pods. Main sim. Once those rentals are empty, they're empty. We're going to start shuffling those renters around on the main sim to scoot them back so that we can have a little more floor space in the center of the sim for new releases, for new pets, for new pets and products. Things my staff members don't know about that is more like deep, dark secrets than the turtles were. So I'm excited. So please be aware if you're a rental on Foxtrot Maine, a renter on Foxtrot Maine, you get to stay there as a paying renter, but we may need to have you move down. <laughs> so if we ask you to move back or down, please understand we're moving everybody back and down. So Thank you guys so much for being the best breeders on the grid. I really appreciate your support of Foxtrot Breedables, and I can't wait to see what 2024 brings us. Thanks, guys. You have a wonderful day, and keep safe and keep warm out there.